Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, how are you all doing? I hope everybody's um, had as good weekend as uh, possible. Today in uh, North West Leicestershire, um, it's sunny in the UK and um, it's not all that cold. Um, um, hi, if you're new here to my channel, please subscribe um, and welcome to both my travel and my lifestyle channel. And uh, please give me a, um, a thumbs up and a big thank you for doing so. Um, so today I'm going to be doing Travel News Worldwide 10 Exciting Facts March 2023 Part 3. And this is according to BreakingTravelNews.com. So I'm going to dive right into number one, which is Flyness, um, to add 10, wow, new destinations and routes uh, during summer 2023, starting from June, Flyness, um, the Saudi air carrier and the leading low-cost airline in the Middle East has announced adding 10 new destinations and routes um, in Asia and Europe during the 2023 summer uh, season um, as of next June while wow, boosting its ever-growing flight net network which is really good I hope it goes as well as possible for Saudi Arabia and um, for obviously the passengers and airports and crew. Uh, four new destinations will be served out of King Khalid International Airport in Raidia, um, including Maldives, uh, the Armenian capital of Yer Ivan, um, Antalya in Turkey and uh, to that in Montenegro. Uh, six new routes will be launched, including four routes uh, from Dab Nan to Salah in the Sultanate of um, Oman, um, which is next to Saudi Arabia. Um, the Turkish uh, cities of Istanbul and Trabzon and the Albanian capital of Trana. Two more uh, routes will be operated from Jeddah to Salah and the Turkish city of Bodrum. Wow, so some exciting news there for Saudi Arabia and Flightness and other countries like Turkey, Montenegro, Armenia, Armenia etc. So I hope it goes as well for all of those countries um, as well as possible. Um, number two, uh, Jetstar Asia prepares uh, for a move to Chang. Guy Airport Terminal 4. So I hope that goes as well as possible for Changai Airport and Jetstar Asia. And number three, Malaysia Aviation Group's airlines appoints official airlines at for Matia Air 2023. So I hope that goes as well as possible. And number four, Norwegian deliver a strong traffic figures in February. So no, well done to Norwegian Airlines for that. Um, for such strong uh, traffic figures. Uh, number five, P&O Cruises um, reappoints record booking wave period. So well done to at p and Cruises for um, getting their booking as up. And uh, number six, Avatar, the Sky Yal Travel Forum and UK Inbound Welcomes New Commitment. And number seven, Dubai. Uh, Metro Music Festival wraps up um, its third edition. So 
I hope um, the Shy Val and the Dubai, uh, Dubai Metro Music Festival goes as well as possible. And uh, number eight, Premier Inputs uh, Sleep Challenges to Bed with Wellbeing Campaign for guests and uh, team members. So that's really good news that they're looking after their uh, staff and uh, guests with wellbeing. And number nine, Ethiopian Airlines announces direct flights to Karachi, Pakistan, start, uh, starting from May the 1st. And last but not least, uh, Mandarin Oriental's uh, first luxury resort in Greece opens in Costa Navarino this summer. So I hope that goes as well as possible for Mandarin Orientals and Greece. And um, I would like to say thank you for watching and um, I'll see you tomorrow for Travel News UK 5 Exciting Facts, um, March 2023, uh, part two. And uh, thank you for watching and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.